What if I told you your DNA is like a time capsule? It holds the secrets of your ancestors, their trips across the world, their tough times and their victories. For all the Filipinos watching, this isn't a made-up story, it's written in your genes. We hear a lot about the Philippines being a mix of cultures, 7,000 islands, tons of languages and lots of different groups of people. But the most amazing story of Filipinos isn't in history books or museums, it's in the DNA of every Filipino alive today. Thanks to new discoveries about genes, we can now trace where Filipinos came from, and it's more exciting than we ever thought. Get ready everyone, because we're going on a trip through time to discover the genetic story of the Filipino people. Imagine this. Over 50,000 years ago, when woolly mammoths still walked the earth, the first humans were leaving Africa. They started an amazing journey that would bring them to the Philippines. These weren't just regular travelers. They were super explorers traveling over land and sea way before maps or compasses. We're talking about the ancestors of groups like the Ita, Agta, ATI and others. What's so cool about these groups is that they have some of the oldest human DNA in Asia. It's like finding a super old history book that's still brand new, and it gets even cooler. When we look at their DNA we see traces of a lost relative, the Denisovans. The Denisovans are a bit of a mystery. We don't know a lot about them, but we know they were a different kind of human who lived in Asia a long time ago, and they mixed with our ancestors. And guess what? Some Filipinos, especially the Negrito groups, have more Denisovan DNA than anyone else in the world. This tells us that the Philippines hold secrets about human evolution right there in the DNA of its people. So the first Filipinos were brave explorers. But the story doesn't end there. About 4,000 years ago, new sailors arrived, bringing new skills and culture. These were the Austronesians and they changed the Philippines and the entire Pacific Ocean. Imagine fast canoes guided by sailors who used the stars to navigate. These weren't just adventurers, they were farmers, artists, and great sailors. From Taiwan, the Austronesians spread their language and culture across Southeast Asia and the Pacific. When we look at the DNA of modern Filipinos, especially in the lowlands, we see a clear connection to these Austronesian ancestors. It connects them to people as far away as Hawaii, New Zealand, and Easter Island. The Austronesians didn't replace the first Filipinos, instead they mixed together, their cultures and genes combining like threads in a colorful tapestry. The result? The diverse and interesting Filipino population we see today. You might think the story ends here, but wait, there's more! The Philippines wasn't isolated, it was a busy center of trade, where different cultures met and mixed. From the 9th century, the islands attracted traders and explorers from all over. Imagine ships with silk and spices from China, the smell of incense from India and Malay, Vietnamese and Arabic languages mixing with local dialects. These weren't just short visits. Many traders stayed, married locals, and added to Filipino society. And the proof is in the DNA. Filipino DNA shows traces of South Asian, Middle Eastern and East Asian ancestry. It's like a genetic fingerprint of cultural exchange. Chapter 4, The Spanish and Latin American Legacy, A Transpacific Tale. No story about Filipino genes is complete without talking about the Spanish arriving in 1521. This changed Filipino history, culture, and even their DNA. For over 300 years the Philippines wasn't ruled directly from Spain, but from Mexico City. This meant the Philippines was influenced by all of Spanish America. Imagine big ships traveling across the Pacific, connecting Manila to Acapulco. These ships brought people, Spanish soldiers and officials, settlers from Mexico and Peru, all adding to the mix of cultures. And let's not forget the enslaved Africans brought over on these ships. Their stories are often forgotten but their DNA is part of Filipino history. The Philippines has always been a place where people from different places met. And we can't talk about Filipino ancestry without talking about the Chinese. The connection goes back centuries. By the 10th century, Chinese merchants were already trading silks and ceramics in the islands. These traders, mostly from southeastern China, saw the potential of the Philippines. Many Chinese merchants stayed, opened businesses, and married local women. This increased during Spanish times. The Spanish encouraged Chinese settlement, seeing them as good for the economy. This long history of interaction has left a mark on Filipino culture and DNA. Today you can see the Chinese influence all over the Philippines. We've looked at how ancient migrations shaped Filipino DNA. But what does it all mean? 
What can modern genetics tell us? Today, scientists agree that Filipinos are among the most genetically diverse people in Asia. By studying DNA passed down from mothers and fathers, scientists can understand Filipino genes better. Filipino DNA has markers from all over the world, East Asia, South Asia, Oceania, even Europe, sometimes all in one person. For example, some people in Mindanao have more South Asian ancestry, probably because of early Indian and Muslim traders. Others in Luzon or Visayas might have more Chinese or Spanish genes. But, here's the interesting thing. Despite this diversity, there's a common thread. Austronesian roots. We've traveled through time and explored the amazing diversity of Filipino DNA. Now the big question, what does it mean to be Filipino? The answer is beautiful. To be Filipino is to be part of thousands of years of history. Every Filipino carries the legacy of many different groups. It's a unique mix of cultures and genes showing the strength and spirit of the Filipino people. Your DNA is like a history book, a photo album, and a family tree. It tells stories of journeys, love, struggles, and victories. It's a story that continues with every generation. So if you're Filipino, be proud of your heritage. You are not just one thing. You are a living example of the beauty of human connection and diversity. So there you have it. The story of Filipinos isn't just in books or statues, it's in their DNA. It's a story of migration, adaptation, and resilience. Every new genetic discovery shows us that identity isn't set in stone, it's always changing. And to my Filipino viewers, remember this? Your DNA doesn't just tell a story, it sings a powerful song. A song of survival, resilience, and cultural mixing.